guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have Crosby Steen with me, and if you don't know who he is, he has his own YouTube channel, Crosby Steen. RN MSN MSN, MSN, RN. MSN RN. I can never remember. That's the way it's supposed. By the way, yeah, that's the way it's supposed to be. MSN RN. You put your highest level on there, and I see nurses all the time, even people that I know that I work with that are instructors mess it up. But it is MSN RN <laughs> for the record. There you go. There's that's that's all the video is going to be about. So we're just going to end it right yeah, there. Yes, yeah, it. Um, but Crosby is an ER nurse, and he is a nursing professor, clinical instructor. Yep. And so we want to do a video, um, kind of some advice and tips from his perspective, because how often do you get a, get advice from an actual nursing professor, kind of the ins and outs. Mm -hmm. So I collected some questions from people and I'm just going to, we're just going to wing it and ask you some Works questions. For me. So first question was, what are some of the most common mistakes that nursing students make that you see? Uh, so, all right. So there's a couple things with that one. First common mistake is there perception of nursing school before they come in. So I teach fundamentals of nursing. Very for, We call it MP1, where we kind of mix a little bit of med surge into fundamentals. Uh, it's a little bit different than other, other nursing programs, but uh, the biggest thing is their, uh, I guess their perception of, of nursing and their preparedness, because a lot of times, you know, you get in, you get into nursing school and you don't really understand the load of studying you're about to take on. And so I see a lot of students that first test, first two tests, they'll bomb those first tests and then it like wakes them up and they're, you know, then they, they snap back into it and then they realize, okay, now I have to study, now I have to pay attention. So starting out, that's probably the biggest mistake that nursing students make as far as educational wise. Um, the second thing, the biggest mistake they make as far as clinically speaking is not paying attention to detail. Uh, I talk about that all the time. You ask any of my students, and they're probably watching this video, they'll even tell, they'll talk about how mad I get when they don't pay attention to detail because it's such a small, small thing sometimes can cause the biggest, uh, the biggest tragedy. There was a nurse, I don't know if you saw that, that was supposed to pull birth head. Did you see that story? Anyways, there's a nurse, uh, maybe I'll try to link it here on one of my channels or something, but she was supposed to pull birth head, pulled something else, vericonium, oh. ended up killing the patient. And this happened not that long ago. So, um, you know, little things like that, not paying attention to detail. So I hammer the students pretty hard with that, but it's something small like that. So yeah, paying attention to detail would be the other clinically thing speaking. What are some ways that you're like, so that students can impress their instructor? Uh, like I said, paying attention, pay attention to detail, um, uh, and being organized, being prepared. You know, when I get, I tell my students all the time, if you're not organized, there's so much to keep up with in nursing school. There's so much, I mean, it is just like literally drinking from a fire hose. If you can organize your stuff, have it organized when I get it in my hand, especially if I get a, all the paperwork at the end of the semester and I have all these nursing care plans to look at, all these papers to read, and it's organized properly, I, I'm going to pass you, you know, automatically <laughs> on that. Because if I can see that stuff organized, it makes my job easier when I have 56 students stuff to grade and your stuff is organized. Mm -hmm. But that also tells me something deeper though. It tells me something a little bit deeper about that student. If they're able to hand me something that's organized, that means they're gonna be organized on the floor. Yeah. That means they're gonna have all their stuff. They're gonna have their name tag when they show mm -hmm. up. Something as simple as like, I've had to send students home for not having their name bad, their, their name tag on. But that's yeah. an important thing because mm -hmm. you can't go to work. You can't clock mm -hmm. in, you know, there, there's all kind of things like that. But so, Organization is the, is the main thing. Uh, organization and uh, attention to detail are the main two things that I look at. And like you said, I think it goes much deeper because in nursing school, you are setting those fundamentals, that foundation, those habits for when you become a floor nurse, time management, organization, keeping all your skills in check. It's not so much about just what you're learning as far as, oh, I can put an IV in, I can put Foley in. It's so much beyond that. You are going to learn those skills as time comes, right. but setting that foundation right off the bat is important. Yeah, you know, it, it, there's a tricky way of where I have to kind of be hard on my students and then I also got to gotta kind of like build them up at the same time. Um, <laughs> you know, and, and but I, I do see students that come in that don't pay attention to detail, that I have to hammer them constantly. But what does that tell me, you know, when they go into the next semester, what if they become nurses? What am I supposed to do with students like that? You know, I, it, it's really, as, as hard as it is on me to, to get on the students to do that, it is really for the, for, the, for the better of the, I guess the profession in the long run, because, you know, it's all about paying attention to detail. I keep going back to that, but it, it really is 
that paying attention to detail and organization mm -hmm. like i keep I, I talk about it all the time with my students but it does go back to that yeah. that's like the main thing so let's talk about like some of like the nursing skills because i feel like students get so caught up in oh my gosh, I have to start this IV, I have to get this injection, I have to pass these meds. Right. When in reality, like, there's a bigger picture to what nursing is. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah <laughs> uh, uh, there's some, all right, so nursing, uh, and that's the other thing, talking about your perception of nursing. I said it earlier, uh, about what you perceive nursing to be before you get into school. I remember how I perceived things about nursing before I even got into school is completely different. Now, my opinion on nursing before and my opinion on nursing now mm -hmm. is completely different. So, um, what was the original question? <laughs> How students, they get so caught up in those, uh, those skills that they're not oh, looking at the yeah, overall. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, they, yeah. so you, get, you get so caught up in the, in the skill aspect of it. And, you know, really your skills are you're going to learn on the job. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the majority, we, matter of fact, in our uh, nursing uh, staff meeting we had the other day for all those professors, mm -hmm. We talked about not even teaching IV sticks anymore because it's something you have to do hundreds of times to really get good at it. Yeah. I mean, how often did you do uh, IV, IV sticks in the, uh, in the ICU? I mean, or, I mean, like now, how many IVs do I do? Yeah. I don't do very many because they all have central lines. I probably right. maybe do one or two a week. Right. So unless you're on the IV team, mm -hmm. unless you're in the ER, like I was starting four or five, six IVs a day, yeah. you know, and even then, like it took me a few months after doing that many a day to get really good at it. <laughs> we just, oh, like, we're, there's a window here and Jesse, my husband's running back and forth with Callie. Our, there are going to be some daughter. good bloopers in yeah. here. So yeah. So anyway, so IVs, um, <laughs> I feel like we just, <laughs> There he is. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so IV sticks. Um, so, yeah, you're not going to get good at it until you just do it over and over again. So, yeah, I, if I was a nursing student, I really wouldn't worry too much about my clinical skills, like my IV sticks. The only thing I would worry about is, like, some assessment stuff. For sure. You know, do your assessments. Um, and then, if you're in nursing school, I would focus on nursing actions, nursing considerations with all any anything you're doing more than more than clinical uh, skills because that's just going to come when you actually get on the floor doing it over and over. One thing that I see as a nurse, and I'm sure you've had students in the ER as well that follow you, um, but one advice that I can give from just like a floor nurse perspective is I like when students come in one prepared and organized, yeah. and two willing to try anything, putting themselves out there, asking questions and volunteering to do things. Like I don't want to have to literally drag you in and be like, okay, hey, you need to do an assessment. That's I, I just like you to just go in, let's just do it. Let's ask questions, be involved. That's I, honestly like what she just said is perfect from a, from a nursing instructor point of view and from a preceptor point of view. Um, my nursing, my, my students in my class that I noticed that that did so well ended up getting like a's in our class mm -hmm. they were organized and i can't state that enough organized they paid attention to detail and then what you talked about in the last they went and found stuff to do exactly they were never sitting in the nursing back you know in our little section of the mm -hmm. hospital of the where all our students hang out they were never back there they were constantly working with as many nurses as yeah. they could find so they and, and and that's kind of tricky guys because sometimes nurses if you're a nursing student nurses can seem kind of rude to you. Mm -hmm. So you kind of got to play that angle of like, can I, you know, but go offer to help. That's yeah. the best thing. You know, don't, don't go out there like, you know, trying to do too much, but always offer to help. If that nurse is rude to you or doesn't go to another one, you know, mm -hmm. find things to do. And that, that shows that you're interested in nursing. That shows that you're going to be, you have that, you know, kind of like that fascination with the nursing profession. And that's just going to carry over in everything that you do. Yeah, and when I have students that are like, I want to do, I would love to be able to do this, this, and this, or I'm willing to do anything, that makes me want to find opportunities for you. Whereas if I say, hey, did you want to try and start this IV? And they're like, nah, I did one last week, I'm good. Then I, right then and there, I'm going to stop finding opportunities. Yeah. Because if you don't want to, like, you got to do everything that a nurse does, even if it's the grunt work, because we do, you know, cleaning up patients, things like that. If mm -hmm. you don't even want to help out with those things, then yeah. I'm not going to find the big opportunities for you. <laughs> Honestly, like there's, there's probably nothing that makes me mad more when I see, and I've had nursing students that have a little bit of an ego and they don't want to go out there and try something because they're like, they think they're too good for it. Mm -hmm. Or they think that, you know, wiping a butt is beneath them. You can see it. It'll come out. That'll get on my bad side really, really, really quick. Um, because it, 
I got news for you. In nursing, you're gonna do you're all gonna of that. A lot of us. You're, you're not. You're not above a CNA. No. You're not above an LPN. You're gonna do everything, if not more, than they do. So mm -hmm. be prepared to do that. Um, and that's just what I'd say about that. You know, it's suppress your ego when you're on the floor. Yeah, and even as a nurse today, I still go up to my CNAs and say, "Can I help you with something? Yep. Do you need to do me to do a blood blood sugar check? Do you need me to do this?" Because that's how you have a good relationship with your CNAs, and this is kind of off topic, but no, is, you yeah. show that you're willing to do the same things, that you're not like, oh, you go check my blood sugar because you can do that, and I've got other things to do. Yeah. Like, you gotta be on the same level. I promise you, like, there's nothing in, as far as take care of your CNAs, as an RN, you take care of your CNAs, your patient care techs, your RTs, and your, your RTs. <laughs> yeah, all, and, you know, you make them like your best friend. You talk to them, mm -hmm. you communicate with them, you ask them to help, and you actually help out with them because in the in the end, when you're really busy, at least for us in the ER, if we're really, really super busy, I want my patient care tech ready and willing and wanting to help me out. Yeah. Another thing we should talk about is grades because students get so focused on, I want a 4.0, I want a A. Yes, they do. So what's grades versus like the reality of performance? Like what do you see? So nursing school is not set up to to reflect anything like not ref, not really reflect your intelligence it's reflecting critical thinking mm -hmm. uh, it's designed by nature to throw you off i always tell my students all the time if you're hanging around an 80 if you're i would rather you hang around an 80 mm -hmm. than do really good the first semester and get like 90s yeah. because then you underestimate what you have to do the rest of the yeah. Of the program mm -hmm. so just remember C's get degrees you're not I mean this is coming from a nursing professor I tell my students all the time do not get focused super focused because you don't get an A because don't worry about that that's nursing school is not designed on road memorization like like AMP 1 or AMP 2 it's a completely different ball game so yeah definitely don't get caught up on that I'd like to see my students hanging around an 80 79 80 81 because that means they're learning just enough and they're not gonna get too cocky to when they they think they're smart and then they get hit the second semester for sure grades don't make the best nurses there are nurses that are great nurses that do get A's there's yeah, great oh, nurses that get C's but that a grade doesn't define who you're gonna be as a nurse it's more so those personal skills motivation organization time management right. communication assessment skills I, that are really gonna hone you in when you become a nurse you know that's a, it's so funny I have to tell the story I have this one story that I tell all my students when they get a bad grade I always tell them I made a 49 on a peds test once so if I can make a 49 on a peds test and still come back and do it I, I still I, anything's possible yeah, I tell that story all the time. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, I just constantly tell it because I have students that are like, well, I made a 78. I'm like, I'm like, I don't care. I made a 49 on a PEDS test. <laughs> so yeah. Now I will say that PEDS test, I purposely bombed it because I was studying for med surge. I had a med surge test that week and a PEDS test that week. I had a good grade in PEDS, but so I couldn't focus on, you know, you had to kind of pick and choose on what you need to focus yeah. on, but I could have done a lot better than a 49. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it happens. That's why he's an ER nurse. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is, that is <laughs> why. Which, by the way, well, our first video we did together was IC nurses versus ER nurses because we have totally different personalities, perspectives, things like that, which was a really awesome video that we did. So that'll be linked down below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, good, that's a good video. Um, very entertaining. People are commenting saying that I started pulling your accent in <laughs> the video. So I, like, try, I'm trying to just sound, but it's like so hard because when you're talking like, also, I have an accent. Yeah, you, uh, you do. Uh, I guess it just depends on where at the country you're at. <laughs> yeah, very true. Anyways, anything else that you want to say? I think that um, kind of summarizes. You know, uh, if you're in nursing school, I would just say, honestly, uh, pay attention to detail. Like I said earlier, organization, and just always have that willingness to and openness to learn. Always through your whole life, through everything, kind of always push yourself and don't sell yourself short. Yeah. For sure, I think it's a great advice. And coming from the source, clinical instructor, nursing professor, yep. MSN, RN. MSN, RN. MSN, RN. Yeah. That'll be me in a little bit. It will be. 
a little bit, but <laughs> anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you have any other questions, leave them down below. I will leave Crosby's channel linked as well. So make sure you go subscribe, check out his stuff. He does a bunch of different things. He's done tra traveling vlogs, traveling nursing vlog, videos, nursing, yeah, 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 education. yeah. That's what I'm talking about too. Is that yeah? On my channel, I do kind of a mixture of like I'm traveling out west now and I'm going all around doing like camping out of my car. I do that stuff, but also in between those travel videos, I link uh, nursing advice type stuff. So uh, I kind of mix it up a little bit, kind of have a little, uh, I guess, just a little mix of everything. Yeah, awesome. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in our next video. See ya. Okay. Oh, wait, this is already recording. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. We can have some bloopers. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have. Hi, guys. <laughs> hey, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just, the you see him like, he... I was like, I can't. <laughs> we see you walking back and forth though. Oh really? That's what I'm saying. You can't like walk back and forth. <laughs> yeah, you can totally see you and just walking. Okay. Yeah. There. <laughs> just put your head, hold the baby up. All right. Yeah, we'll just. Okay. We're just gonna wing it. It works for me. Yeah, and I think, like you said, it... do you mind? I was shaking. I'm sorry. But why do you need to light a candle right now? <laughs> You mind your own damn business. <laughs> Sorry, uh, vaginas. Vaginas and penises. We're gonna talk about vaginas. Okay. Babies. <laughs> that's what happens. Babies. Yeah. Penises and vaginas. Penises that's what happens. make babies inside of vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> this is this video is called Birds and the Bees with Crosby Steen. Yes. I like that. So let's talk a little bit about like um, penises. <laughs> it's gonna be ninety percent bloopers, and the rest will be right, like advice. Right. Ten percent advice, nine percent <laughs> bloopers. 